Justin Square says that he, there's a man with 30 kids by 22 women. Right. On my dad's side of the family, I met one of my... Uh, sorry, I saw one of my cousins. Now, his little sister is also my cousin. So my little cousin, who's like five, six years younger than me, said, oh, that's my older brother over there. He's also your cousin, Jay. Now, I never went up to this guy. I never introduced myself to him, innit? Yeah, I just saw him at a funeral, innit? Yeah? Somehow she told me, oh... You know he's got thirty children. No, he, he's got he's got thirty six children, but he lies and says that he's only got thirty children. The guy was like thirty two. How the fuck can you have more children than your fucking age, fam? How can you be thirty two and have thirty six kids? And remember, my, so this is my I've got family in South London. It's my cousin South London. All the youths them, they're all yeah from around the similar area, yeah. So, like I gave you like, an example yesterday about I know someone who they were impregnated by a, a man who lied and said he had three or four children, but it turns out, right, he's got like seven, eight or nine kids, right? And her son ended up going to a primary school and he had two siblings in that primary school. Three pitney them in one primary school. Imagine Put, put yourself in a position right now. Imagine going back to school, secondary school, don't even matter, yeah? Imagine in your year group, you've got two people who are your brother and sisters in your year group, yeah? You're all fucking in, in maths class and your brother's in your maths class. Your half-brother's in your maths class. Your half-sister is in your science class. Madness, man. 30 children. But you better make sure they all know each other because they will end up interbreeding. They're all from probably around, maybe around the South London area, may stretch up to North London, some in East or whatever, in it, yeah? One or two of them would probably encounter each other, yeah? Especially during this social media age, a lot more people know each other as well, yeah? In the social media age, where everyone's able to, you know, get in contact with people that they might not have been in contact with back in the day or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. And that's and that's and that's partly why women are allowed to be are able to exercise hypergamy so much because they know that they can reach out and well, men can reach out to them who back in the seventies, yeah, back in the eighties, back in the nineties, early two thousands, these men they would not encounter these men, right? They would not encounter these men yeah, because. You know, the men that they like were probably a scarce resource. But nowadays, because of social media and that you got man hitting up women and shit like that, yeah, they're allowed, they're able to get in contact with people that they probably wasn't, wouldn't have been able to get in contact with back in the day. Just think about how, <laughs> yeah, imagine attending all them parents' evenings. He ain't attending no parents' evenings though, man. Because if a man cared about his kids and cared about having children and that, he wouldn't be having that much children. So, yeah, he don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, dealing with the exclusions and that. Fucking hell. Like, just think it, just really deep it, though. Like, most of those kids, yeah, a good 28 out of those 30 children, let's just round it up, say 30, yeah? If I call this 36 business, isn't it, yeah? Nice round figure, 30, yeah? 28 of these 30 children are going to have no dad in their life, yeah? Are not going to have a man present in the house even three or four days of the week, yeah? Yeah? Most of these kids are going to come from single parent households or whoever the man is in the house ain't their dad because of this one idiot these men these men like but there's one thing having two three children with different women and that but to have 30 kids bro what are you what is your intention if you have 30 kids are you trying to start a new race or something like that i think i honestly think my cousin was trying to start a new race you know having 30 youths he must have been trying to start. He could literally yeah, start a new race. Yeah, now if it wasn't for you know, like if you mix, if you if you interbreed with your cousins or incest or whatever, the kids come out all fucked up and shit like that, innit? Yeah. If it weren't for incest, yeah, and that, he could literally start his own race. Yeah, 
With those 30 kids, yeah, he's he, he, he's made a good start to start in his own race. Yeah. You watch, yeah. He's got 30 kids. Yeah. Do you know how many descendants he will have in the next hundred years? Yeah. He could easily potentially have a thousand descendants, you know, from those 30 kids. I'm telling you, it's possible. My great grandma, right? She was half Chinese, half Jamaican. She had 10 children, right? Now, let's say seven of them have gone on to have kids, right? You know, myself and another family member have done a count of all of her descendants, yeah? This was a, like back in 2011 or 2012. I know I keep mentioning that. A lot happened in 2011, 2012 for me, innit? Yeah? We sat down at my dinner table and we calculated how many descendants my great-grandma had, right? She had about 60, yeah? And it, she had a, now she probably has about 80, yeah? And that's just from one woman, right? Having children, having, let's say she had six children that went on to reproduce because not all of her children went on to reproduce, yeah? Now, this is a, a man, right? He's had 30 kids, yeah? Let's say 28 of them, 25 of them go on to reproduce, yeah? Easily in a hundred years time, this guy could have a thousand descendants. Easily, yeah? Easily, or given it enough, given enough time, yeah? In a few centuries, this guy will have a thousand descendants. This guy is trying to be the next Genghis Khan, you know?